In the last few years, I played the role of a technical lead. That means the role came with technical hiring for TypeScript and JavaScript devs. As I'm not a fan of take-home challenges, I usually had a live coding interview that spanned for about 20 minutes. In this interview, I always ask this one problem to see how good they understand the language and how fast they can solve a problem. And to my surprise, so many devs either failed to solve this problem or required a lot of support from me to solve this problem. And of course, some devs solved this problem and also moved on to the next round. I thought that this would make an interesting content and also would be a good chance for you to test your skills and also see where you stand. With that being said, let's take a look at the problem. For an array of integers, x0, x1, all the way to xn of length n, where n's between 0 to 100. x of i is a timeout in milliseconds. Print index i after the timeout of x i consecutively. For example, for an array of 900, 1,200, 400, 700, and 3,000, you need to print 0 after 900 milliseconds. And you need to print 1 after 1,200 milliseconds after printing 0. And you need to print 2 after 400 milliseconds after printing 1 and so on. So this is the expected output. So you need to print 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but consecutively based on the set timeout, one after the other. So there is only one expectation with regards to how you solve the problem. You have to solve it using async evade or JavaScript promises. If you're keen on solving it on your own, pause this video, solve it and come back to check the answer. If you want to solve this with me, let's go ahead and do it. From the first looks of it, this problem looks like a simple iteration, but if you look carefully, there's just more of an asynchronous iteration. So that means you need to build an asynchronous queue and then try to process the information one after the other. So I'm going to split this exercise into two functions. The first one is a function to build the asynchronous queue, and then the next one is a task that needs to run the set timeout. First, I'm going to build the first function with a for loop. If you're thinking of using a for each loop, please don't do that because asynchronous operations don't really work inside a for each loop. Let's stick to our good old for loop. And inside the for loop, I'm going to await a function called wait until. This wait until method is the task that we will await and resolve after a certain timeout. And this wait until will return a promise that will resolve after a set timeout. And once we do this await, in the next line, we're going to print the index. Although this problem looks simple on first glance, there is a small hurdle to overcome. You need to figure out this wait until function needs to return a promise that resolves after a timeout. Let's pass the numbers and check if this works. All right, it works as expected. So the takeaway here is that break down your problems into smaller APIs. That would massively help you move forward without getting stuck under time pressure. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more and I will talk to you soon.